So, map packs. We all hate them, so what better way to hate them more than to have a look at them in 2022? Let's see if any of them hold up better than I thought they would. Alright, so let's start off with the Alpha pack. Now this pack has three of the most popular levels in the entire game on it. Let's see if any one of these holds up. So this is Sonar. Definitely feels a little bit harder than Stereo Madness. I gotta say, it definitely does feel a little bit copy-pasted now that we're looking back on it. But it doesn't look horrible. I'm surprised. I thought I remember the first pack being really bad. Anyways, the next level is Dark Paradise. They're actually using Glow in this one. This level is so nostalgic. I remember trying to beat it when I first got into this game. This is a cool color scheme change to it. It's kind of auto. Oh man, it died. Overall, this definitely does feel less copy-pasted than the other one. And it does look a lot better. Looks a lot more thought out. But there was a bug in there. That might just be because it wasn't intended for my FPS. Now this level. This is an absolute classic. So many remakes and videos and everything have been made about this level. The updated 2. Point, um, I think it's 2.0 version. But the original level was made in 1.9. They like fully revamped it. That level will forever be a classic in this game. Overall, the alpha pack really does hold up quite well. These are all some of the better end of the 1.9 easy levels that exist. Next, we have the beginner pack. Now, all of these, I think this was the original first map pack, so these are all much older levels. Anyways, let's check them out. Oh yeah, you can immediately tell, this is like a, it might be 1.0 level. Similar to Stereo Madness in terms of broad game modes. Oh yeah, and then there's a blind jump there. Okay, Dreamland. I remember this being very annoying to complete because there's so many things to remember. Yeah, that is, it's just like... I think it's similar to the back on track, just like memory. I believe this is the newest level in this pack right here because it actually has coins, even though they're not verified. You can like choose your way. Yeah. The next map pack is the cookie pack. Now I feel like this map pack is also newer levels than the other ones. Like, these levels are not from 1.0. Yeah, so far this level looks tight. All they did was basically add air deco and glow with Hysteria Madness. Okay, now it looks a little different. They have color. That's a tough jump right there. Alright, I'm gonna skip remake level and I'm gonna play Mystery Dungeon. I feel like this might be the best map pack level we've seen so far. Like, all the subtle details and things, changing color, it looks like it's themed off of Pokemon types. This place looks like Ogre Grun Jungle, and they did this all with like 1.9 objects. It's really like the atmosphere of this level. This background's cool. Oh man, I clicked there. But, Mystery Dungeon is probably the best level we've seen so far. The Cookie Pack gets a pass from me, but all of these other ones in here don't. The next pack we have is the Spirit Pack. Now I believe this pack was all made in the 2.0 update, so it's a little newer, like this one has move triggers. It's really trippy. You can barely tell what you're supposed to do. I don't know how I'm sight reading this, I haven't played this level in like years. It's the same song as Retray. Oh man, you don't click twice there. But this level, it's... It's very trippy. And then we've got a Sputniks level. Yeah, this was also made in 2.0. I feel like these levels, they're all good on them, their own, but they get grouped up together and it doesn't make much sense. Like, what about this has anything to do with the map pack or the last level? This level is pretty cool though. It does have slightly repetitive gameplay. This part's cool, it like glows. This part feels kind of empty. All 
Alright, now we're on to the Ion Pack. This one has a Viperin level in it. This looks like it's 2.0 as well. Could also be 1.9 though. Oh yeah, this is 1.9. I am too good at this game. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, now we have this Viperin level. Let's see if it's all copy pasted. Oh, it has the um, Alive song. Oh man, that messed me up. Finally, we have the prism. Oh, I remember trying to beat this level. This was so long ago, like probably two, three years ago now, before I realized the map packs weren't worth the time. But this is a pretty cool level. Like all this stuff, I believe he did this in 1.9 as well. So he has this rainbow effect down there. Oh man, I died. Alright, next we have the Mortal Pack. Now, if you notice, I have not beaten any of these levels. These are all beyond my extent of grinding map packs. But anyways, this gives me all the more reason to check them out and see how bad they are. Starting with Tetris Zone, which I have 10% on. These are the levels where we're starting to get into the territory of, oh no, these levels are kind of bad. Why are they in the map packs? Let alone, why are they in map packs? Okay, this is actually a pretty cool effect. Just the gameplay is pretty interesting. Oh man, those kill you. New best though. Alright, next we have Royal Sky. This is by Funny Game. Let's hope that this is pretty good. Oh man, this looks dated. There was a blind jump there. How could he? I can't play this level. That's gonna annoy me too much. And finally we have Funky Dice. Can this at least um, bring back the pack? Ah, uh, it's got the, the song. And I'm instantly dead. Um, overall, what about this pack makes it mortal? I mean, we've got Tetris, Sky, and Dice. All three of those things are not mortal. That, that confuses me. Alright, now we're on to the Demon pack. There are, like, so many of these, oh my goodness. This is um, the first one though, and I've beaten one level on it. Let's see if we can't get a decent percentage on it. Dang it. I forgot about that. Uh, I haven't played that level in so long. Demon Park, the first demon in the game. Now I can get why this would be in this map pack. That makes sense. And I messed that jump up. Um, but yeah. An extreme fantasy. I believe this was also another extremely early demon, so I feel like Demon Pack 1 might work because it's at least demons and they're new de they're like old demons. Next we have Demon Pack 3, only because I've beaten all the levels in this. Mainly because the two easiest demons in the game. And then Crescendo. Let's see if we can't beat one of these levels to prove that they're all easy. Well, I messed up that jump on Crescendo. This is by far the hardest of the three, though. And I don't get... What is the purpose of having more than, like, two... One or two demon packs? Like, are the demons in that much need of a map pack? Can you not make map packs more themed with demons in them? I feel like these are just there for the sake of bringing attention to some of the demons. Dang it, I forgot. Anyways, Lightning Road, which is arguably easier than the Nightmare. This level was my first demon, and it's in a map pack. I feel like the only real purpose of the map packs these days is so you can maybe get, like, an icon for beating a certain number of them, or so you can just, like, get more coins. I think they might give you stars too, yeah. So it's like quick ways to boost your stats. I don't know. Rounding it all off, we're gonna play Demon Pack 17 because that's the last one. Definitely not the most recent map pack, but the last map pack on the list. Starting with Buck Force. This level is so confusing. Yeah, I mistimed that jump. Moon Adventure. I doubt I'll do any good on this. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Is it the middle one? Yeah. Oh, how far can we go? Oh, man, I died. 
And finally, Laser Room, which I actually sat down and tried to beat because I was like, this level's on the first page of Demons and it's driving me insane that I haven't beaten it. It's not actually too hard. I feel like Laser Room doesn't really get that much attention nowadays. I, I at least don't hear anything about it at all. And I don't. Anyways, I must say, of the map packs, some of the levels, not all of them, definitely not all of them, are quite good. Just the problem with it is that the map packs don't make sense. They aren't, like, they have a name, but the name means nothing, and the levels in them have no correlation with each other. I mean, some of the maps do, like, remake levels and things, but those all are, like, why would you make 10 map packs about that? So anyways, I just feel like the map packs were a great idea that wasn't quite executed properly. They could have been more themed levels in them, like the gauntlets kind of did. They did a lot better job of that. And also, like, exposing levels that go really well together. Overall, I feel like the levels themselves, some of them aged really well. Like the first map pack, those levels aged pretty well. But most of the levels didn't age well, and the map packs don't really make sense anymore. Just do the gauntlets now. This video is a blast to make. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope all of you have a great day, and don't forget to comment that you made it to the end of the video. See you in the next one.